um, good morning to all fellow Sierra Leoneans. This now on a picking brother, Lahai Lawrence Lima, the Deputy Minister of Internal Affairs, where they also double as the national PRO for the Sierra Leone People's Party. I just decide, I don't decide really um, for know how I do my own PR approach. And uh, because I don't be so inundated with too many calls by some faint hearted Sierra Leoneans, way for some reasons, then they allow themselves um, for bulge to the inciting or use them way. Um, one Sierra Leoneans we choose for carrying himself as a low mental state Sierra Leonean and choose for presenting himself as a political ventiloquist where they allow failed and corrupt politicians them for speak to them and use himself as an individual for psychologically intimidate um, some of those faint hearted Sierra Leoneans for bodge to intimidation and incitement. I just decided to do this audio for be ass for assured when I say <laughs> when I elect a government into office, we get a responsibility for protect una. And so no politician in this country, we don't rule for eleven years. They don't siphon and embezzle this country in money and left this country on the brink of economic collapse. And they behind the scene, they use one very Sierra Leonean. We through their own actions, don't make them. He left this country, a goalie down yonder. He not did a better life. He led on the, the intimidate now because them fail and corrupt politicians and waited on thief this country money for 11 good years and left this country in abject poverty. They use them because of in your mental state low for intimidate. Especially the one that where they budge to intimidation, and uh, then the and also the one that where they budge to inciting audios and messages for bring psychological pressure on her. I just come for do this audio because the pressure is on me as well because I not see the too many needs for begin they even share in incitements there. Why are you guys? Why are you people sharing it? Especially the one that they do them through cowardice shouldn't be a coward no why would i not for be a coward because you people are lawful Sierra Leoneans when i respect the laws of this land and when i respect the peaceful coexistence of this land and when i respect the rights of other peaceful Sierra Leoneans so why a criminal why a low mental state individual we don't choose or present himself and in that way, for intimidate una, why are you guys budging to read? However, if una don't and don't push too many audios of incitements them to me, you you people are telling me that we have a responsibility. We wanna be done place in we as a government that we need for take a step or we need for take steps them as government for make sure say we try for stop the incitement. The distractions of this um, individual political ventiloquists we choose for speak the words of those coward, corrupt, and failed politicians for 11 years. We don't bring this country out to a kneels and then feel say they're not to do without politics now for just intimidate the peace of this nation. Enough of this. Now, I just want for let me be rest assured that now through on a taxpayer's money. And they pay soldiers and police. And uh, at the same time, on an elect government, and that government they in place will make sure say law, order, and stability of the state is preserved. Having said that, them be done do them on the 10th of August, but we'll be able to address that situation. And if the security sector been taken incitement them as a pinch of salt or trivialize the incitement then the evidence is clear now that um we need for attach some level of seriousness 
so he incitements them and take steps first i want to make sierra leoneans every peaceful sierra leoneans no shit and not get any reason for bulge to the inciting um statements them of this um low mental state individual we call insert at the bio we allow fail and corrupt politicians them we don't we're even responsible for enough for dinner this country but for do probably all jobs out there and uh, they intimidate on psychologically for make wanna be rest at short say the security forces they on top of the game and any security forces or personnel where you been paid by government of sierra leone and through taxpayers money <laughs> you but of course i don't even get reason for say that because the security sector they on top of the game and they're ready for keep the law and order of the state and for make sure say every law abiding sierra leonean go about in normal business so that's the assurance i want for give to honor the faint-hearted sierra leoneans way actually the budge to this political ventiloquist in incitement them as a government as well we get we own steps then we will need for take and because una don't overwhelm me with too many of inciting audios them need to force me or another i mean are they are they are they are they, are they relate with me boss for make we take up we own game in the internal affairs ministry and collaborate with the ministry of foreign affairs and see how much we can able for reach out to the government of holland through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Internal Affairs and see how best we can able for track these political ventiloquists and bring and come to justice. This is what we have to do. We cannot allow an irresponsible Sierra Leonean for always threatening the peace and security of this nation because failed politicians then feel say the only way they can able for survive <coughs> not through political intimidation or through um, threatening the peace and security of this nation. For 11 years, when APC busy, they mismanage this country in resources, they psychologically, they intimidate and use a lot of violence on people in this country for 11 good years. Some of us, we are busy educating ourselves and a very good number of Sierra Leoneans, we are busy engaging in their own personal developments them, not to for Sidon wholly and solely and looking forward to when then we come on a power, we can take over power. No, we are busy educating ourselves or engage in our, our own personal developments. And this is the reason why this administration led by President Julius Mada Bio don't able to manage the failings of Anes Kuruma or the failures of Anes Kuruma. They don't able to manage even the corrupt nature of an escroma in government we make sure see um for 11 years where they don't embezzle this country in resources we don't set up commissions of inquiry than they did it but at the same time even the approach towards them is being managed way from here i think say now all of them here they embolden them for do all of what they do to this nation because certain people and really they they for on the behind bars by this time one of the things that we make paul kagami succeed now because you know you know too much budged because in no say it been to do what's in right it takes measures them way for able for make sure say it keep focus for do what they do however sierra leone is a different country and needs a different approach to um um the leadership in this country and in so far i say kudos to his excellency the president retired brigadier julius madabio because it don't tactfully approach the issues of for the, for the issues of this country and honestly sierra leone they are the trajectory of development this is what apc don't see we make them so worried that them feel say them for break the peace and security of this country but i want for assure the apc say they're not gonna stand no <laughs> it's just stand like we um you they intimidate uh uh cumbra for say you go get Bele. Now that the APC they do. You cannot threaten this government with war. You cannot threaten the peace and security of the people of this nation under this administration. No. No. Now I fail venture on a day into. And I want for 
make them really believe say now hunt that they hunted themselves. Then clearly they give we the evidence, the results. We're gonna make we bring them come to book. And definitely we will stop at nothing but to bring them to book because that is what they want. They don't want peace. They don't want freedom. And because they don't want freedom, because they don't want peace, they shouldn't see it. Honestly. And it doesn't mean we are going to take the law into our own hands. No. They don't do everything humanly possible for break the laws of this, of this country. You know go there, you say you want to lead this country or you don't lead this country before and you think say you know they respect the laws of this land. No way. If you not responsible enough for respect the laws of this land and you think say you go intimidate the peace, love and Sierra Leoneans there, you not foresee peace. Because anybody will not they respect law in a tight place for they. Honestly, I don't see any big deal for even an arrest and an escroma and put them behind bars if Anes break the laws of this land. Because Anes gets a double moral responsibility and legal responsibility for respect the laws of this country. But if 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 one individual Sierra Leonean we don't take leadership of this country before, he thinks say he go intimidate or try for threatening the peace of this country. To be very honest, a need for the behind bars. It's not a big deal. It's never a big deal. If people like Jacob Zuma go behind bars, even where probably the incitement where people they cause in this country are, people like Jacob Zuma not, have, not probably do them. I not see no reason why somebody for 11 years don't collapse this country. Are. It don't endanger this country. And if they out there, they get the freedom again for threatening the peace, love in Sierra Leoneans, and if they see peace, no. However, the one evidence we clear to we now the political ventilocust we call in say Adebayo, where they allow failed corrupt politicians then for 11 years, we don't bring this country to a news, continue for use them for threatening the faint hearted Sierra Leoneans that were the to incitements them and for an order to the pressure because yes, them put you in an office for all respond to some of those pressures. Yes, as a government, we are going to step up and we make sure say. We collaborate with the government of Holland for bring Adebayo to justice. And honestly, that will be done. If that did not happen, well, some of we know what we will do. But it will happen. Adebayo will be brought to justice. We will collaborate with the government of Holland through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Internal Affairs for make sure say we bring Adebayo to book. And when we bring him to book, all the ones that we connect to them, we go bring them come to book. Because now Ropi they draw come on a bush, and that Ropi they draw come on a bush, and they bring a lot of, and they bring the forest can at all. And we they go for you at the bio. We not they go for you by an illegal means, but we they collaborate with your own sister ministries of that country where you they, where you they intimidate the people of this country, especially people them where they budge to you intimidations. And also the one that where they budge to you incitement them. Now, for the one that waiting at this country, we feel said in the budge. To their incitements, them way, this low mental state Sierra Leonean don't put himself forward to fail politicians, them young corrupt mentality and manipulations for intimidate the security of this country. If we not venture for listening to incitements, them, we not attempt anything, we not do them at our own peril. I am saying this that nobody not the threat in the security of this country. No, enough of this. If we don't allow ourselves to be used as a human shield, then we don't get ourselves to be blamed. And they say this, if you know, say, you're a law-abiding citizen, you respect the laws and order of this country, put yourself together and go about your normal business. But if you say you don't listen to Adebayo incitements, them we fail politicians that we don't bring this country out to a kneel, they use them for intimidate, and we don't say, we don't have the budge to their intimidations, we say, when are the board to the incitements that when they take on the street, just like what the president say, make sure say you do them peacefully. But um, also make sure say you do them lawfully. If you not do them lawfully, you not do them peacefully, to be very honest with Una, Una not go stand, Una not go prevail. No. No. Una not go prevail. I don't repeat this. I have a moral and legal responsibility. For make sure, see, I walk along with my colleagues, them, follow the peace and security of Sierra Leoneans, them, is maintained and law and order prevail in this nation. No one individual 
through failed and corrupt politicians there, not go threaten the peace and security of this nation. So I really want to say all peace, love, and Sierra Leoneans will respect the rights of others who now go about in a normal business and just not pay mind to that low mental state individual Sierra Leonean. We don't put himself forward for be a political ventriloquist for speak the words or the intentions of failed and corrupt politicians that we don't humbug this country. When I be rest assured, say there is a government with the on top of in game and the security forces, then they on top of the in game. And I don't say this, that you will feel say you did budge to that incitement and take on the streets illegally, you did do them at your own risk. Because if you allow yourself as well for be used as a human shield, you did do them at your own risk. Not allow yourself for be used as a human shield. It will not stand. It will not work. Enough of this. Enough of this. I repeat. Thank you very much to fellow Sierra Leoneans that will listen to my audio. I, I decide to do this really for allay the fears and worries of those faint-hearted fellow Sierra Leoneans. And we bodge me and, and audit me with too many of these inciting audios. We a bring a moral consciousness to me say now because we are in charge and they have put us in charge then they remind we say we get a responsibility for make sure say then peace is maintained and peace is not just when you go about your normal business but even when you mental state peaceful it's all part of the peace and we get a responsibility for make sure say that happened for the people of sierra leone and i believe say now that make una budge me with these too many incitements, then we then they do. We this individual they do. We call him say the bio. And so on that note, I just want to let Sierra Leoneans and be rest assured, say nobody no go threaten on our security. On our focus, and this time round now, we they can't go into the registration process. Wanna just make sure say we come out with any una numbers, we go register. Let no individual Sierra Leonean no intimidate you. Because you know a peace loving Sierra Leonean, you know a law abiding Sierra Leonean. You go only allow that intimidation for work by you if you're not law abiding. But if you're law abiding, be rest assured that you get a government where they protect your security and go about and do your normal business and wanna prepare yourself for register massively. Yeah? I tell you all plenty, plenty, thank you. Me, now wanna pick in, on a brother, and on a humble servant, Honorable Lyle Lawrence Lima, will come up with this audio tone. Thank you very much for your attention.